everyone and welcome to our new episode of The Three Whisketeers, the show that likes to share our whiskey and have a lot of fun. I'm Jamie, your host. We have our angel-haired hipster, Curtis. Once again, Melissa broke the record. She's the biggest guest we've had so far with, uh, four? Three? Five? Four now? Three? Five? Four? Ten? Four? Maybe four. four. Maybe two. Four? We done. Uh, and then our daughter Delaney is here again, once again, yes? Yes. And we have our happy Honduran in his John Deere Green Tractor t-shirt. That's right. Represent. Um, but I'm kind of disappointed. I guess the show's over. Uh, we have empty glasses, no whiskey, no show. Have a great night. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we you forgot to introduce our, our we audience. We do have audience again. Clinton Mason, once again, back on the show. No more whiskey. That didn't, that didn't change. So what's going on? Are you done? What are, are we doing? <laughs> what are we, what doing? are we doing today? <laughs> we have crackers. Yep. Someone told me that someone's daughter turned 21 years old. Oh, she did. She did, and and that's one of the reasons we had the show on Scotch, right? Absolutely. And I thought, well, she turned twenty-one. We ought to do something special for twenty-one. Oh, that's good. Happy yeah. birthday, Chef. Sort of. We can't sing happy birthday. A twenty-one-year-old <laughs> bottle of Scotch. Ooh. Wow. Twenty-one-year-old bottle of Scotch. I thought that might be good. Now it's a Highland Scotch, and we learned in a previous episode about the different regions. So this is a Highland Scotch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. I've never had this scotch, but holy crap! Really, really? Okay, this is the uh, the whiskey collection, Grange Stone, aged to perfection okay. Highland single malt scotch. Sure. Okay, distilled, matured, and bottled in Scotland. So this is one hundred percent Scottish. There is nothing on Scottish about it. And I've never <laughs> had this. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know what it is. You know, they give great descriptions right here, Melissa. You're all right. Well, guest, you can read it. We're looking at for the nose. We have a subtle malt nose with gentle floral notes. That sounds promising. On our taste buds, we're going to have rich vanilla and toffee flavors Ooh. balanced with an oaky spice and vanilla warmth. Maybe that'll bring a little burn. <laughs> and our finish will be long and lingering and beautifully sweet. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. Beautifully sweet. And she's only 21. Malt nose, gentle floral notes. It's supposed to be like a little. Does little anyone milk. get that? I, I get do. that. I do. I smell flowers all over the place. Mmm. Like a bouquet. Mmm. Should we uh, send it? Vern, you got me. Hmm? It is. It's totally oh. different. It's totally different through my right yeah. through my left. Not it's that crazy? completely different. <sighs> I so, like it. created the same year that you were created. What do you uh, feel about it? Burns a little. Burns a little. A little bit. But it tastes really, really. Yeah, sweet. it does have a great. Taste. I think sweet. it tastes sweet. Okay. To the nose, did you smell like a the lower floral notes, a or did bit. you say did you get something else out of it? I think it's quite smooth. You get a little bit, but not down the throat, just in the mouth. Just in the mouth. Okay. okay. Here's a question that we've had before with our friend Matt from Ben's. Okay. Is uh, what does smooth to you mean? Oh yeah, there you go. Okay. I have no burning in my mouth. At all, okay. period. Mm -hmm. And what does smooth mean to you? Uh, smooth to me is more of the down the throat. So when something doesn't burn all the way down the esophagus. So if it has a little burn on the tip of the tongue, that's okay, that's a burn. But if it's smooth, it dissipates down the throat and it's more smoothing down. Mm -hmm. You see, you're both right. Because most people, well, a lot of people think smooth means sweet. Right. And it really does not mean sweet. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I do agree with the um, description. It does linger with you the whole time. This is still in my mouth. What about the vanilla? I, yeah, I'm vanilla getting, or toffee? I'm, yeah, now, the toffee Ooh. is a little bit like yeah. uh, really light, but the vanilla to me is kind of strong. Yeah, I think that stands out more than yeah. the toffee. Definitely more yeah. than the toffee. I don't really taste a whole lot of toffee in it. Mm. What do you guys in the back think? We like it. We like whiskey. You can roll this. Thumbs up. You can roll this. I love it. Now this is what do you think? You want to let it get warm. This is where you would drink it. You're gonna take your time on this one. I already drank it. You like to? You're getting very good at describing this stuff now. What do you? Go ahead and talk about it. I think we covered it. Elegant. Elegant. Okay, it's elegant. Sweet. I mean, it's aromatic. 
Yeah. So, powerful. I mean, can we talk about maybe, like, sometimes something is, put, is let in the barrel for too long? Powerful. Would you say this has been in the barrel too long? Or this is still has some time to maybe refine this itself is green. to something a lot more special than what it is? Okay, you, you know, when it hasn't been in the barrel long enough, I, I say it's green. Yeah. Okay, that's just because I think it takes on too much of the characteristic of the oak and it hasn't been stabilized yet. Mm. That, that's just a word that I use. I don't think it's really a, a term that is used. I, I've heard it before, so green is just means fresh to me. Well, not even fresh. It just means it's like cut grass. It's just so intense that it, that's the overpowering flavor and you don't have anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we've had this discussion before. Yeah. That um, I, about 12, 15, 18 years, you get beyond that with most whiskeys into the, like the 21s and I think they begin to diminish in flavor. Their intensity begins to drift away. The angel share is evaporated off. It's soaked into the barrel. I don't really think, you know, people talk about a 30 year, 30, 50 year whiskey. By that point, I think it's lost a lot of its characteristics. Mm -hmm. They've shot past the target. They shot past the target. That's my opinion. Yeah. And then it gets exponentially expensive. Yeah. Because, you know, you get maybe out of a. I don't know, eight year, you get maybe 220 bottles. And then when you get to like 15 years, you maybe are down to 180 bottles out of a barrel. When you get to 30 years, you're, you're, you're talking about five or 10 bottles left in that barrel. Good. That's why one of the reasons it's so expensive. Yeah. So um, I, th I think there's a point of diminishing return. Right. Mm -hmm. This one it's still got character. Yeah, mm -hmm. it still have got it still got an impact. It still got flavor. Yeah, it isn't diminished. The Belvini Twenty One Port Finish, excellent. If it went much further, I I, I think it would lose its elegance. Okay. Elegance, you like that? Okay. Elegance. Wow. Happy now? I'm happy now. Okay, so Twenty One is the optimal me, year. You see, the no, optimal year for me is about fifteen. Okay. For whiskey, Twenty One is is a point where I've always noticed after that point. The whiskey begins to lose its intensity. People think it gets smoother. That's fine, but I think it, it gets less flavorful. There, there's less of a bouquet. Mm -hmm. There's less intensity on the tongue. So for me, th this is this is good. This is fantastic. This was recommended to me by a, a gentleman up in Madison, Wisconsin, and I, I I just took a shot in the dark. I said it was probably going to be the first whiskey for a 21-year-old young lady, mm -hmm. and I had two bottles in my hand, and he said, take that one. And I said, okay, I'll take your word for it. How'd it do? Good. Good. I don't know what the other one tastes like, but this one I think the other one would have been <laughs> a lot more intense. So. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? You're, 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 yeah. you're just turned 21. What do you think? You're new to the game. I am new, so I don't really know what's good and what's not good. But that's okay. Tell so, us what you think. It's all subjective. No matter what, yeah, no matter you, what you might say. think something's awesome, we don't. He thinks something's awesome, okay. we don't, don't always think that. So it's up to you, whatever you like. I, I like it. I don't really know how to explain it. I like it. Though. Okay, so like <laughs> you had Fireball, right? Yeah. Okay. So compare this to Fireball. What do you think? It's way better than Fireball. Okay. Okay, there you go. That's way what better. we want. That's yeah. what we want. Okay, Mama. <laughs> what do you think? Break it down for us. Break it down for us, Mama. I, I think say, she needs fill more. Her, fill this back up here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. We done did. Well, I agree with the flowerful notes. Yeah. Flowerful. Definitely. If that's a word. I agree with that. Um, <laughs> this doesn't pack a whole lot of punch right on the uh, right on the tongue. It's pretty smooth. Mm-hmm. Pretty smooth on the tongue, pretty smooth down the uh, throat, um, but it does have a lot of flavor. Mm -hmm. And I think we were talking earlier about the notes that it encap encapsulates, which would be the vanilla and the toffee. Yeah. I definitely yeah. get more of a vanilla yeah. flavor out of that. Less side on the toffee, but um, very flavorful. Do you gather some smokiness, like a light smokiness? In I there? don't get any smoky out of this at all. Okay. No, not even a little bit. No, no Pete. Pete is not here. He is not here in this game. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Pete has left the building. Mm. And if we don't have anything else to add to uh, Greg and Stone, 
Okay. Is that how you say it? I don't know, but I guess that's pretty good. Dragonstone. I've never even seen it. I'm glad you bought it. Grangestone? And uh, with Grange that, Grange. Burn. let's finish this up and uh, take what's left. <laughs> all for one. <laughs> one, one for all. For all. <laughs>